is the only way in. Maybe we won't make a deal. Maybe it again we go somewhere. Any place is better. Starting from zero, got nothing to lose. Maybe we're all mixed up. Hello everybody, my name is Lyra Dobbins, and my project for ROTC was how to make a rubber band car. My car took me a while to figure out how to, like, construct it, because we were missing a few pieces, but, um, when I finally completed it and I put it together, I put it on the table with the stick hanging off the side, and... I thought that was how it was supposed to work because it said a flat surface, but I didn't know how it was supposed to work with the stick. So what do you do when you don't know where else to go or what the answer to your question is? You just look on YouTube. So I went to YouTube and I looked up the, uh, the car and it was actually supposed to be on the floor. So I wasted a good hour of preparing and a good hour of trying to make it to work and I wasn't actually putting it where it was supposed to be. So I put it on the ground and it actually started working. It didn't go fast, but I was glad that it actually ran. Now this car doesn't run by fuel or electricity or anything like that. It runs by energy. And the energy that it runs by is potential energy and mechanical energy. Potential energy is energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position relative to others. Or in other words, it's energy caused by stress within an object, such as, for example, a bow and arrow. When you pull back on the string of the bow and arrow, there's potential energy going on in the, the string itself. That's what gives it the power to go fast or to go high when you let go of it. The car uses the potential energy of the rubber band. When I twist the stick, it winds the rubber band and makes it tight, which creates stress and energy. The rubber band is wanting to be let go. Once the stick is let go, the rubber band and the car itself does the rest of the work for you as you watch it go. This part is called mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. It is also the energy associated with the motion and position of an object. So in other words, after the potential energy comes the mechanical energy. It's basically just the rest of the work that you don't have to put any effort into. For example, using your muscles to pick up a big hammer and trying to break down a wall. The energy you're using to hold up that heavy hammer is potential energy. But when you let go and you decide to let the hammer go down, that is mechanical energy. You're not using any part of you for the hammer to fall besides gravity, and the hammer is doing the rest of the work for you. So obviously the stick was a lever, and the bead, and the metal washer, and the paper clip, is what really held the whole thing together, but the main part of all of it was the potential energy and the mechanical energy. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I really enjoyed this project, even though it took me a while to actually figure it out, and yeah, that's it. That is my project. Bye!